Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. So today is going to be a vlog, it's going to be a really casual video and it's going to be on World Book Day. So obviously today is World Book Day and I thought what better opportunity than to come on, create a video um, all about the books that we have here at Christie's Direct. Now obviously we provide um, a lot of blogs, a lot of video content and as much education as we can but sometimes it's a great way just to go back to basics and get yourself a book. So there's four books I'm going to be talking about today. You've probably already heard of them um, if you are either a beginner to the industry or a professional. So I'm going to go through them, talk about all of the sort of great things about the book um, and why you should be getting them. And we're just going to have a little sit down. I'm going to have a little cup of tea and we're just going to chat through the books. Okay, so I've grabbed a little seat. I've got my cup of tea here with me. So grab one too if you are watching along at home. And I'm just gonna sit down and talk through some of the books that we've got here. So I thought this would be a nice little setting just with the products and stuff behind me for you to kind of um, just like hear me talk about the books and we'll just sit down and have a little chat. So the first one I'm gonna talk about uh, is a big book and I'm sure that you've already heard about it, but this is the Notes from a Grooming Table second edition. Now this is by Melissa Verplunk. I think that's hopefully how to say her name. And this is it here. Now I'm sure you have heard about this book, whether it be from your colleges and whether it be you doing your own research, but this is like literally an essential for all groomers. And for this month, we are given 10% off this. So it's on offer with 10% off. Um, and it's just an incredible book. Like it's made up of pretty much everything that you need to know as a groomer. Um, and it's split into two different books. So there's there's the book at the front and then the book at the back. Um, this one is volume one, second edition, and then this one is volume two, second edition. Um, and it literally takes the very first edition of this book um, just with more braids, it's remastered, it's brought up to date, and it's got more of the techniques that you kind of need to know about. Um, so it's an all braid grooming guide for the professional pet stylist. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of the inside of this. Um, so as you can see at the front there, you've got the gorgeous Welsh Terrier. Um, so let's, oh, it's kind of hard to hold this. It's, it's so heavy, like there's so much information in it. So we'll just open it straight up. Um, and to start off inside, so for example, there's ears, um, tools and equipment, canine anatomy. So it literally talks through all of the basics that you need to know. And like I say, it's really good to have videos um, as a really quick, easy way to understand information. But you see having a book in front of you with everything written out that you can take it in as your, at your own pace it's so hard to beat, it really is. So having the likes of a book is fantastic. So this goes through the bone structures of the dogs, different dogs, clippers, like different angles to be holding blades in order to get the perfect cut. Everything that you need to know. Then we've got grooming procedures and recommendations. Um, and then you've also got notes because this is called notes for the grooming table. So you've also got a, there a section to, to write your notes in. Just fantastic. So let's go through here and show you some of the fantastic things about this book. So here we've got the Dash Hound, wire haired, obviously it tells you there. It's got your braid fact and characteristics. So let's just turn this around and I'm gonna properly show you what's in this. So we've got the Dash Hound, which is wire haired. It's got the braid facts and characteristics, like I say, the country of origin, the height at the shoulder, coat length type, color. Then you've got a general description. Then you've also got an image of the dog. And in here it says like the top of the skull should be hand stripped very short. So it's literally giving you information about every single part of that dog that you need to know about. Um, ears are smooth, the goal. So this is ultimately then the, the, what you kind of you read this and would say, okay, so let me just read it from the book for you. So it says from a distance, the variety should resemble its smooth hair cousin with the exemption of the distinctive brows and beard. So it's literally telling you at the end of grooming this dog, this is what you need to kind of have the look for. Then it's also got grooming procedures and recommendations. So bathe once a week or once every 12 weeks. So it literally has everything about that dog in it that you need to know. And there's pretty much, as far as I'm aware, every dog that you need to know about in here. Um, it's something like, is it like over 200 breeds or maybe just under 200 breeds? Let me just see here, I've got it written down. Yeah, over 200. American Kennel Club breeds are talked about in this book. So it would surprise me if there's a breed that um, you're looking for that's not in this book, but it literally goes through all the different breeds pretty much and talks about it. So it's one of those books that you definitely need, regardless if you're starting out um, or if you're maybe been in, it, in, you know, in the industry for a while and you're a professional groomer, I think having a book like this 
on hand is is an absolute must have and like i say it is 10 percent off for this month and um, because of world book day so now is the opportunity to get this book and um, it's around the 50 pound mark so with the 10 percent off you're going to get a decent wee save in there so definitely go and check that out and we'll talk about the next one let me just grab it So next up then we've got by the same notes from a grooming table but this is the pocket pal edition as you can see it is much smaller um, again by M melissa verplank um, and this is the abridged version of the best selling notes from a grooming table that i've just showed you so it's just a smaller version like you can see it's just a cute wee dinky size um, and then in here is just a more condensed down smaller version of just the braids that are kind of the most common so we've got the airedale terrier we've got the um oh i don't even know how to pronounce that one black russian terrier bichon frise and again it is set out very very similarly to the other book so you've got your dog over here with all of the different components all of the different ways that you need to cut the dog characteristics origin your goal and then over here is just some more information just about like the head study so the way that the head should be on a bichon the way that the leg should be scissor round literally everything that you kind of need to know is in this. So if you've maybe got the bigger version, but you don't want to have to carry it around or lug it around, um, but having the little pocket pal is a really great version. It's a much easier, sort of smaller version to use. Um, and again, I think it's another must have for everybody. I think you cannot have enough educational material when it comes to learning your field. Like, especially for professional groomers that have been in it for a while, I think you can always be learning and always be getting better at your craft. So having the likes of books like these are fantastic. So the next one then from Melissa Verplunk is The Theory of Five. This is the second edition. It's a really lovely book as well. Like it just would sit so lovely in your salon. Um, and this literally just simplifies grooming concepts for everyday pets. So as much as the other one, you know, you're getting right down to the breed standards. You're getting everything from the country of origin to the way that the head needs to be cut. This one just kind of takes it back to basics and is more for everyday pets. So um, as much as you're not gonna be doing like a breed standard groom, this is more of like your pet groom. So it, the reason it's called Theory of Five too is it focuses on the five main parts, which is the body, head, ears, feet, and tail. So let's just get straight into it. Um, again, this is a lovely book to hold. It's very well illustrated. Um, as you can see there, it's got all of the pictures that you need to be seeing. It's got doodles, it's got drawings, and then there's um, writing too. So maybe if you are more of a visual learner and you can understand things a bit better whenever they're visual in front of you, the likes of this book might be slightly better, um, but obviously they're for different purposes. So you probably would maybe need both. Um, but it's just lovely, like the little doodles and all are just so gorgeous. And then you've got actual photographs there um, of the way that things are being done. So for example, this is about all trim or all over one length trim. So it's talking about poodles, golden retrievers, drop coat braids, um, and it's just showing you the different ways that they can be cut for a pet standard. What else have we got in here? So grooming jobs, then we've got hand scissoring and natural head style, clip close to a top knot, and there's different dogs there with different ways that you can do the top knot. Um, so this is just kind of a more in focus way of looking at certain parts of the dog. This for example is about the round head, so about how to properly shape the fur. Um, this is how you would do a drop coat, for example, like a shih tzu, and then you've also got your curly and wavy coats, which is like the bichons and the poodles and everything, and then your wire coat. So it's really good. It's a really visual, easy to use aid whenever it comes to grooming. Um, and like you say, if you maybe want to branch out in terms of the dogs that you're grooming, this is a really great way to do it. Um, it kind of gives you that little bit of confidence and it's coming from the professional, so you know that the information that you're being given is exactly what you need. Um, so that's another really lovely book. I just, I love them all. I think they're really great and they're really interesting, especially for me, like I'm not a professional groomer by any means. So reading through this just gives me a really great understanding of about scissoring, how to use different scissors, how to use different blades, different coat types, everything like that. So for a groomer, I know that this would be a super, super great piece of, of equipment. It really is a piece of equipment to use. It's a tool, it's an aid. Um, and I think it's a must have. So that's the third book I'm gonna talk about. And then the last one we're gonna talk about is Colin Taylor's book. So it's called, What Would Colin Do? And this is it here. Again, lovely illustrator. And this is by Colin Taylor and forward by Melissa Verplunk, which is the same writer as the um, other three books I've just talked about. 
So this one is kind of like, well, I'll tell you what it says in the front. So it says 101 situations and solutions for every dog groomer. So this one kind of covers the likes of maybe accidents that might happen in the grooming salon. For example, if a dog was to fall off a table or if a customer was to turn up late, what way Colin would deal with that? So let's just go through and we'll talk about it. Um, so for example, there's fleas. Again, really good illustrations on it. I love that he's got a little top hat on. Um, and then you've got all of your writing on the side. There's scissor in the front leg, scissor in the rear leg. So not only is it um, grooming advice, professional grooming advice that you're getting, it's also like based on experience, the way that Colin would do things. So obviously we know Colin Taylor is a very um, reputable person in the grooming sphere. He is got a lot of awards under his belt um, and is someone that you would definitely take like, advice from. You know, he definitely knows what he's talking about. So having this in a written format is just another fantastic aid to have beside you. So for example, there's about obese dogs. Um, so it's talking about like the way that the dog's nails might be, the fact that they might have health complications. Um, and it's kind of written in such a way that it's like talking directly to you. So I'll read you out a snippet of this. So it says, the good news is, they have come to the salon. By this, the owner is at least doing the right thing. It's up to you how you'd like to handle the customer. Do you get all ballistic and indigilant and preachy? Call it RSPCA, it is animal cruelty after all. I try to find out what's going on first. So Colin is really writing this in a way that's direct to you when you're reading it. Um, it's very understanding, it's very easy to use terminology um, and it's just trying to deal with those sort of common problems as a dog groomer that maybe some people don't talk about. Um, and like you said is coming from Colin Taylor so he is 25 years um, in the dog dog grooming professional world so there's Colin on the back and again another lovely book I really like the way that this is like a longer style so I can imagine it sitting out on your table as you're doing your grooming or even for a late night read like maybe once you wouldn't maybe read this as such whenever you are grooming the likes of the notes of the grooming table or the pocket pal would be good for that but this is sort of like just a really good all around groomer's book, um, talking about common problems, how to um, get solutions for issues. And it's just nice to sit down and read, to be honest. And it's a really lovely book. So that's the fourth one that I'm gonna talk about. So that really is the full roundup of the books that I wanted to talk about. Um, obviously with it being World Book Day, it is nice to shed some light on the classics, the books, the back to basics. Um, and if there is any books that you maybe haven't heard about, now is sort of the opportunity for you to go and have a little look, go and have a read of them on our website and maybe pick one up, especially with that 10% discount on the notes from the grooming table. Um, so yeah, that was lovely just to sit down, have a little vlog. I, let me know if you like this sort of setup. It's a little bit more casual um, and relaxed. And yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about the books because I think that they definitely are something that can be easily looked over. It's something you don't think you need until you have it. Um, and I love them all. I think they're all really fantastic um, books to have. So yes, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give the video a like. Also subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notifications to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Happy World Book Day and thank you all so much for watching. Bye.